Hello and welcome back to part two of Harvest Time. So we're just pulling into the shop. We were on our way to get a baler. What the heck is that in front of us? Do you guys see that? What in the world? Is this a truck tractor? Who in their right mind built this rig? Is this for sale? As strange as this is, it's a pretty dope build. What do they want for this? What? Five grand? Are you kidding me? I gotta go chat him up about this. That doesn't seem right. Maybe it's broke down here? I've got five grand. Let's go see what they have to say about this. Alright, so we need the baler. Let's check this one out. Uh, round bales, that's fine. What do they want? Ooh, these are pricey. That seems fair though, let's go with it. Cool, cool. Well, I also got the key for this little trucker. Apparently that's what they're calling it, a trucker. And yeah, they only want five grand for it. Let's take it for a test drive. Pretty clean on the inside. Oh God, sorry about that. Let me turn it down. There we go. She fired right up, no issue. Sounds like a tractor. Drives like a tractor. It's as slow as a tractor. Must be a tractor. Uh, handles pretty good though. I'd pay five for this. Not seeing the downside here. They didn't really mention any issues with it. The brakes do feel a little squishy. But that can be fixed. Apparently it's been sitting here a while. I haven't seen it though. Well, let's get it parked up and let's go talk to him. See if we can work something out. There we go. It's pretty sharp looking. It's got the hookup. Could use another tractor on the farm. Let's go see what's up. Well, there it is. 5,000. Not a bad deal at all. I feel like I stole her. There's got to be some underlying issues, but I'm a pretty good mechanic, so I should be able to work anything out that's going on with her. So let's get the baler hooked up anyway. Uh, actually, let's try the new trucker. Might as well, right? Yeah, she fires right up. So that's a good thing. Let's see if we can hook up to the baler here. Yeah, no problem at all. Fantastic. Hmm, that does have a little pull hitch on the front. Wonder if we can tow it with little white. Let's give it a try. Most likely not, but... Worth a go.
Let me just grab up the weight so we don't leave that behind. Hmm, definitely looks like it could be pulled. I'm not sure with this or if I need something else, but... No, this doesn't look like it's going to do it. I might need some sort of connector. Well, uh, let's park this up for now. We'll come back and get it later. There you go, that should be out of the way. And let's get the baler home. Pick up that straw. The brakes are definitely soft. That's alright. It only goes 20. Can't get into too much trouble. She looks great rolling down the road, though. Hopefully this is the right baler. It was the cheapest one they had. Well, that's a lie. They had one cheaper, but it was uh, small rectangle bales, or small square bales. We want to go round bales, I think. Interior on this is pretty nice. Minimalist, but efficient. Alright, so here we are back at the farm. There's my neighbor over there taking a walk. Yeah, she sounds like she's got like a jig break. You hear that? Coming down when you let off the gas? That's pretty cool. Well, let's put her right to work. Let's see, how do we work this thing? Let's get her lowered. Turn it on. Okay, I think we're good to go. And we're picking up straw. Now I wonder... Is this thing an automatic ejector or do I need to... Manually do it? I'm not really sure. Let's see, we're just about full. Okay, there we go. Uh, how do I get it to eject? Um, oh, okay, there we go. I got it. Oh, beautiful. Love the round bales. Oh, let's pick up this little pile here to the left. Oh, watch out. A little bit of an accident. No damage done. Ooh, she doesn't have the best turning radius. Okay. So she's doing the job pretty well. No problems. Interesting turn of events. I was not expecting to pick up another tractor today. Just never know what's going to happen, though. So I think I'm going to pop in a tape. And, uh, yeah. We'll catch you on the flip.
All right. There we go. Hmm. Is there a way to unload the unfinished bale? If you know, let me know. I'm not seeing a way to do that. This could be an issue. I'm spamming the heck out of the keys. I'm not unloading anything here. A never ending beeping. It's gonna drive me crazy. How do I stop that? Oh, okay, there you go. I'm not sure what to do here. Well, that sucks. I got pretty much a full bail here. I guess it's just a waste? Okay, well... I guess that is what it is. Let's get this back over to the shop. Maybe we'll load it on the truck. Because we do need to bring the other tractor back, so... Let's get the gooseneck out. I think that's the best way to do it. Gotta give this thing a spray when we're done here. For some reason, I didn't do it when I cleaned the harvester. Like a big old dummy. So let's get hooked up. Load up the baler. Cruise down to the shop. Drop it off. Pick up the tractor. Maybe they can help me unload that bale. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. Starting to get a little crowded around here. Go. Let's park it up right over here. All right, let's see if I can back this up onto there. For some reason, I've been absolutely terrible at backing up lately. Yep, and the trend continues. How many tries? Three? Four? Oh, this isn't looking good. Oh, line it up. Come on now. Okay. Oh, looks a little off kilter. Oh, yep. Attempt three? Just shove it up on there. Let's go. It's not mine anyway. Who cares if it falls off? Okay. I think we got it. Oh, no. Let's line it up a little bit better. Oh, boy. Can I fit the... Can I fit the trucker up, too? Mm, no, I don't think so. Let's just drop this here. Only took us 12 minutes. Alright. Please forget you witnessed any of that. Let's get her strapped up. Let's go. Cool, cool. So when we get back to the house, I think... I'll take you on a quick tour of the garage, as I promised. Check out the lettuce. Maybe we can sell that quickly. I'm not sure if we'll do that today. But we'll check it out. Uh, we may run up 
check the horses out, check the chickens out. Just some kind of farm maintenance before we go. Because we don't really have too much else to do today. So here we go, let's uh, pop in here. Hopefully they have an idea of how to unload this bale. Because I'm sitting on a full bale in here. I don't want to give it back to them. That's not ideal. Let's see if we can get this unloaded. Fire up little white. Sure, I won't have any trouble taking the baler off. It's always easy to unload. Hook up here. Give it a pull. Here she comes down the ramp. And there we go. Let's get it parked up. And then we'll run inside to talk to the boys. Might as well load this up before we go in. Stick it on the trailer quick. Straighten her out. All right. We'll strap her down. Perfect. Alright, be right back. Well, they didn't really have any advice on getting it out. They said they'll handle it. But they did kick me a hundred bucks. So that was nice of them. I don't know how much the bales go for, but... I'm either getting screwed or a nice little compensation. Well, let's get back home. It turned out to be a pretty good day. I know initially we thought we were going to get a little bit of rain, but that's held off. Temperature's starting to warm up a bit. It's starting to feel like we're getting close to summer. We got a lot of work coming up. We gotta we gotta prepare the fields again. We gotta get some lime in there. We gotta do a little plowing, planting. So we're gonna be busy in the next couple weeks. I'm not sure what we're gonna grow. We gotta come up with something that's gonna give us a little bit more profit. I do think the canola is a pretty good idea, but. I don't know, I'll have to look and see if there's anything more worth our while. Maybe we should just go with grass at this point. And start bailing the heck out of this place. It's kind of just endless income, really, right? We don't have to wait month after month just to grow the crops. We can kind of just keep cutting and bailing. Eh. Anyway, let's stick the tractor in the barn. That should be fine for now. We're gonna need to use the pallet fork pretty soon anyway. And I guess the bale spike too, realistically. Gotta get those bales moved. I think I'm gonna stick them in the horse barn. Or in that little, uh, tuck away outside. I think I already said that at some point. The only question will be if I'm gonna sell them, which I think I'm gonna, do I wrap them or do I just leave them? Will wrapping them bring a better profit? I think it might, but I'm not positive on that. Let's go check out the garage. I said a while ago, well, I said when I first built it, that I was going to put some furniture and stuff in there, make it a little homey, make it like a little man hangout. 
man cave, as you will. Looks like Paul's got enough food. Now, mind you, this is just a work in progress. So as you can see, I've cut a bit of firewood. So I've got the stove in here. I've got the harp lifter machine out of storage. Got a little sitting area. Got my workbench set up over here. So yeah, like I said, it's pretty humble. I haven't done a ton of work in here, but just set it up so I can sit and relax and enjoy my vehicles. At some point, hopefully we get enough money so I can buy another vehicle. Something cool. I could use another truck, to be fair. I don't know, we'll see. Here's Paul, he's still hanging out. Walking the property. Let's run over and check the horses out. Because we haven't looked at them in a few days. Yeah, I think... Next month, or the month after, I'm not sure. Pretty soon we'll be able to cut these sunflowers. I'm hoping that's going to bring quite a profit. And yeah, there's the horses. I did mention I've been riding them every day. Getting their stamina up. Working on getting their fitness level maxed out. Looks like the food and water and everything is still... Doing great. They don't really go through a lot of food and water. Maybe once I buy some more. I wonder how long it will take for them to reproduce. Probably quite a long time. But yeah, as you can see, done my riding for the day. They're all statted up. Feeling good. Happy as a clam. <laughs> or I guess happy as a horse, huh? How much do these bales go for? Let me check. Here's straw. Do they just sell as straw? Ooh, 61 bucks, that's not ideal. If they only sell for 61 bucks, then getting that Benjamin from the shop is a pretty good deal. Now, can you make silage with straw? Because I have sold silage, and it's pretty good money. But I'm not sure if it's just grass or not. It's probably just grass. I wonder if there's a silage for dummies book. I'll have to look on Gramazon. And yeah, look at this. The canola. We're not going to be able to sell that for quite a while if we're expecting to make any profit on it. Same with the sorghum. Same with the oat. Not till December. So we're going to be poor for quite a while. Let's take a walk over and check out the lettuce. That's really our only source of profit right now. And that comes in real slow as is. I did want to change it to selling. Let me see if I can figure out how to do that. We do have a nice little lineup here, though. That's at least a few grand in the bank. Once we make that delivery. Okay, here we go. Let us change output mode. And it's on selling. Now it should just insta-sell. Is that right? Check out the chickens. Ooh, I have 70 chickens now. And they're still, uh, they got plenty of food. We do have a few eggs. I'll have to look into that. Can I sell those? How much are those going for? Yeah, I think we're running short on time, so we'll probably sell the lettuce in the next episode. We'll get the lime. We'll get the fields going. Yep, needs lime. 
I think we have one field that needs to be plowed. So we'll have to rent a plow. But yeah, that's something to look forward to. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. We'll catch up with you in the next one. See ya.